Welcome to a new episode of I Know Jax. This week I have a very exciting show lined up for you and I'm sure you're wondering why I say that. What exactly is it that makes this particular episode so exciting? I wish you hadn't asked me that because honestly I don't know. I Know Jax, that's it. I'm just your average Joe with a weekly TV show and sometimes words have a tendency to just sort of jump out of my mouth without any real contemplation on my part. But having said that, I think this show is exciting because we're going to go and start talking about one of my favorite things, craft beer. This week, we're visiting a fairly new spot in Jack's Beach, the Really Good Beer Stop. So Tim, tell me how you guys got started with really good beer. So we, um, I've lived in Jacksonville for 20 plus years, and for a year, my wife and I moved to Atlanta. And when we moved to Atlanta, we uh, went up there with a six month old and, uh, <laughs> and, and moved back and actually had two kids. But when we lived there, the bar scene was, was over. Right. Um, and you know, for I really, you anyway. yeah, for me anyway, <laughs> and, and uh, for both of us. And um, we really enjoyed just experiencing different beers. And that was what I liked about going to bars, is you could try different beers. Sure. And the craft beer movement was, starting at the time, and, um, but we, we basically would go to a growler store that was right around the corner, yeah. pick up really good beer to go, take it home, and, and you know, rinse and repeat, which is kind of what our, our motto is here. Right. You know, it becomes like a propane tank, you take it home, drink it, bring it back. But the goal is each time that folks come in here, like it was with me when I went to the stores in Atlanta, was there's something different on Right. Because you guys are already getting there. to learn my taste, too. I've been here a few times, so you're going, yep. oh, okay. Yeah, we figure it out. Figure, <laughs> figure it out, out as we go. But you, you've got what, 20 taps and you rotate it? Yep, 20 rotating taps. And um, with each of those taps, there'll be a, a beer that's on there. And then when that keg goes out, something different typically goes on behind it. We've very seldomly put on the same beer twice. What's your process for picking beers? Uh, Does it taste good? I mean, obviously that's yeah, the one. <laughs> yeah, a lot of that. And then it's also, I mean, there's some, some great information out there now on um, what beers are, are ranking really well and right. doing very well. And, and as I said, as the movement continues to grow, there's more and more people you know, with opinions and beer advocate and those I guys all rank them. Absolutely. <laughs> so if you come in here, you can do a flight, right. uh, three, four ounce pours for $5. You can do a pint like these guys. Uh, and they range in tate or uh, price just based on what the, what the ABV of the beer right. is. Um, and That's alcohol by volume. It is. Yeah. We can go through all of them. Oh yeah, IBU, everything. <laughs> um, but what we're what we're looking to do is um, the first and third Tuesday of each month, we'll start to have a brewery come out. So there'll be a brewery of the cool. week or the month. So like a tasting. Yeah, and they'll have a tasting set up for that cool. that time frame. Um, we are going to do one that's going to be more of a, a, a regional type tasting, gotcha. and we'll grab breweries that are located in one region and bring all of them in on right. one night. So, so we're excited about region. that. Too. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, so we're excited about that too, and I think that one's going to run sometime in March. So our our goal was always to. To support the local guys. Mm -hmm. I, I think we have some fantastic breweries here That's incredible, and we've man. got um, two more or three, coming. Yeah, more coming and, and it seems like a new one pops up every day and I'm excited about them because it, it, uh, it's putting Jacksonville on the map when it comes to Heck craft beer. Um, I think we've got some... Asheville, look out, man. We're coming to get you. <laughs> Next in line. And, uh, Cigar City, are you doing anything with the meteries? Uh, we are not as of yet. Right. We've talked to them about it and we're, we're trying to figure out exactly what that's going to look like because um, I'm learning more and more as we go. Yeah. Um, well, if you need help with that, that's one of yeah. my specials. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and ciders are another big channel that we're trying to get down the oh, path yeah. of too. A lot of folks are asking about ciders. We do have mm -hmm. them in package. We haven't put them on draft as of yet. Right. You come by, you never know. You might see me sitting here drinking one or two. Wasn't that cool? I'm a big fan of growlers because I can stop by a brewery or a filling station and bring home some really good beer. See what I did there? Let's move away from craft beer, fresh and new, to the old and stuffy. That's right, Chris Chislett and I are going to talk about wine, and this time we're talking about port. Right now we're making the schedule for the spring season. This year we have a lot of interesting stories that we're planning to do. Here at I Know Jax we talk about fall festival season and spring festival season because once we hit March, festival season goes into full swing and I love that. Now I can't wait for Gastro Fest that's coming back to downtown this year in March and I know Jax is again participating with a screening at MOCA. I'll tell you all about that when we get closer to it. 
I'm also a big fan of Spring Blues that's happening at Jack's Beach. It's one of my favorite events of the whole year at the beach. But enough of me dreaming of spring weather. Let's get on with the show. I'm here with my buddy Chris Chislett, the wine guy, and tonight he's going to teach us all about port wine, right? Yeah, we're going to be a little bit all over the place, as normal. Well, I mean, no, I mean, that's where we start. <laughs> we're going to talk about ports, then we're going to look at a little bit of a uh, kind of food pairing. Okay, cool. Port. So so this is the uh, the Dow's uh, Ruby Port. All right, this is kind of where port starts. There are right. a bunch of different types of ports. Um, there's a, over a hundred different grapes that you can potentially use okay. in port. Um, there's a few like Tinto uh, Roriz, uh, Tinto Kai, Tinto Barocca, Torrega Francesca, like crazy, crazy Sounds names. so foreign. Yeah. So those, I mean, those are the main big types of okay. grapes. Well, you might even put them up on the screen. Sure, right? Why not? Yeah. Right. Right. Um, so this is, um, this is kind of where port starts. This is, I mean, this is under $20. As a, ruby. a bottle. Yeah, this is, I mean, if you really kind of want to get into port, mm -hmm. you know, there's um, tawnies and vintage right. and, you know, uh, the late bottle vintage. Longer. Yeah, exactly. So this is um, really kind of one of the younger, fresher right. kind of examples. Now, what uh, makes a port a port? Like, what's, how's it different from other wines? Well, first of all, I mean, it's made in Portugal. So this is Dow's. Um, okay. It's one of the oldest houses. I think okay. we were talking earlier, yep. you've got a bottle of like Taylor Fladgate. Yep, was it? Yeah, so there's a bunch of like really historic old, right. you know, port houses. Um, we're talking hundreds of years. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, crazy, crazy history back in them. Yeah. Um, there's really not many new, you know, it's not like a new they port, you know, balls, house. Yeah. yeah, really, it's kind of, you know, these, the big guys are kind of controlling the right. whole thing. So it's also fortified, so that you know, added alcohol to it. This is 19%, so... Not hating that. Not, it'll definitely get you drunk in a hurry, but you can't drink it like regular you wine. You're really no. sipping it. I mean, we've got a little bit in the glass, but that's, that's probably about as much as you can... And you can actually see the alcohol there. Good work, little buddy. Well hey, done. You taught me well. Seriously. <laughs> so yeah, if you swirl it, you can really see yeah. those legs, you know, really prominent, really kind of stains yep. the... Uh, and the glass itself, and that's again just the alcohol. So you know it's a good indicator. And it's and it smells like raisins. Really does. Well done. So yeah, if we give it a little swirl, swirly poo. Really smell the uh, like concentrated fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but dried fruit. You yeah. know, dried cranberry, raisins, Prune. prunes. Yeah, uh, stuff. like plum. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so if you want to give it a little little taste, we're gonna you know. I'll let him do the tasting and the eating mm. and all the fun stuff, and I'll just kind of talk while he's... That sounds... Like, <laughs> I, I can do that all but, night long. So what do you think? I mean, you see what I, I mean? Yeah, yeah. A, a little sip is kind of good. It wakes up the Sweet, palate, but it's... Though. Yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. So it's going to be interesting to, to look at the cheese and the chocolate. Okay. Um, the reason that I've got... I mean, really kind of two different food items. We've got right. a salty Stilton cheese. Right. Okay. I never would have thought of that. I, mean, I like yeah. it with chocolate. I've had it with chocolate desserts before. Yeah, for sure. Um, the, way, the way that I liken um, like Stilton cheese and pairing it with like port, like a sweeter pot, it's right. almost like chocolate covered popcorn. Kind oh, of, right. They you know, it shouldn't, shouldn't work. Shouldn't go, to work, go yeah, together, but they do. Yeah, because okay. it's like the salty and the and the sweet. So that's kind of what we're doing here. So um, the cheese, try the cheese. Yeah, sure. So, and, you know, have a little bit of cheese and essentially rinse it down with with some of the uh, some of the port, um, the cheese is going to coat your mouth. Mm -hmm. This is all happening as we speak, um, and then you're going to you're going to essentially the the the, um, the two oh, wow. parts combined, you know, are going to give you you know this. I I'm never would say it like that. euphoric tasting experience, no, but, but it, it really makes, it makes well. sense, right? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, just, yeah. it makes sense once you because I've done the chocolate it. before, because that's how I got introduced to port. Right, was the dark chocolate, right, tort or whatever. Yeah. Like. Well, and this is what we'd call a like a contrast in wine. So because it's tasting. on the other end of the yeah, spectrum. Yeah, because you've got the sweet and you've got the salty. So if you want to try a little bit of the chocolate, Don't mind if uh, I do. this is what we call a comparative you know, wine. Uh, different ways of you know tasting foods with wine. So we've got the sweet and the sweet. You know, we have the salty and the sweet. Mm. So that just kind of works as well. It's more obvious, mm -hmm. you know, sweet with sweet. It really yeah. kind of does, does work. Um, Such a horrible job we have. I know, not bad, right? I'm going to continue eating. You continue talking. Yeah. About. So this, I mean, so that was <laughs> Ruby. It's under under twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's not like not a lot of people drink pot. If they drink it, it's it's as a as a food pairing kind of item. I mean, you can really taste the alcohol though. Oh, for sure. It, you know, at the back of your throat, it really kind of warms you up a little bit. Here. Sophisticated fireball. 
He has a way with words. words. It's unbelievable. I don't Poetic, know. I would say. He pulls it. <laughs> we'll see you guys again <laughs> really? on the next My God segment. I'm here with Terry from FunForFirstCoastKids.com, and we're going to talk about a great little event you guys coming up. It's the Book It 5K, right? Right, it's the Book It Jacks 5K because it's at the Avenues Mall uh -huh. around the circular perimeter. Yep. So you'll be able to run fast and book it <laughs> and help purchase books. I don't know how much library. I'm going to be booking it, but I'm going to be there. I know, I'm planning to beat you, I, Jeff. Well, I, don't, I, I have no <laughs> doubts that you're going to beat me, but how by how much? That's the Ten thing. minutes. Okay, well, I might be able to, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We need to raise $4,000. Okay. There's about 7,000 people who participate in the summer reading program. Okay. So we're hoping to do that and we need more runners. <laughs> we need more runners. <laughs> now, let's say this. If you're, um, let's pretend you're not like me and you're not in awesome shape, so you're not gonna go out there and run. <laughs> and you wanna support it anyway. How can they do that? Yeah, you can go to our website and uh, funforfirstcoastkids.com mm -hmm. and register and click donate. Okay. But you can also walk. You can walk, run. That's probably what I'll be doing most of that. <laughs> or you can do the kids' um, fun runs, Zaxby's fun oh, run. Oh, I can do the fun run? Just do the fun run. <laughs> Just do it with the kids. <laughs> well, and so funforfirstcoastkids.com and then sign up there. That's Really, yep. the bottom line. That's where everybody needs to exactly. go. Exactly. Right? Yep. And support the library. And you can at least beat the librarians. They say they're just, they don't run, but they're coming. So at least beat the librarians. So they're going to hold up the back. <laughs> <laughs> you can be with the strollers oh, in the that's, back. That's me. Exactly. I might be in one of the strollers if I try too hard. <laughs> yeah. No, it'll be fun. You can do it. Thanks for watching. Right now we're in the process of updating our YouTube channel and reworking our website. So I'll be starting to upload a lot of food stories online within the next few weeks. You'll always know when I'm uploading new stories if you subscribe to my YouTube channel because then you'll get notified as soon as new content is available. Now another interesting tidbit, we're going to start a daily I Know Jacks update airing on CW17 Monday through Friday in the evening. Now, I'll let you know more about that shortly, but these daily updates are scheduled to start airing February 1st. Now, I'll be back with a new episode of I Know Jacks next week, and it's going to be a great episode. We'll be back at our normal Saturday broadcast time at 8 p.m. on Saturday, or you can watch us at 8.30 p.m. on Sunday as usual. See you next week, but until then, I'll see you on the internet. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Now, if this is your first time watching an iknowjacks.com video, I would love to have you subscribe so that I can continue to help you find fun things to do in the Jacksonville area. Every weekday, I do a daily video update to remind you of the things that are happening this week. Plus, we do features on great restaurants in the River City and a weekly video calendar of events to help you plan for awesome experiences. And last but not least, Every week we create a new full-length episode on all the best places to eat local, drink local, and be local. So subscribe and I'll see you again soon.